All right, next up we have Brad Vogel and Olaf Mate from Mixmax. Awesome. As I mentioned, definitely a glitch art project. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Olaf. And I'm Brad. We're here from Mixmax. And Mixmax brings the power of the web to email. So everything that you can do on the internet, you can now do directly within your mail client without leaving your inbox. And before diving into the Meteor app, I just want to show you a couple of examples of what this means. So the first thing is that we create really nice visual previews of links. In this case, Alice's Twitter profile, because I, yeah, I. Incredible sweater. <laughs> um, attachments on Mixmax are embedded directly in the email, so you don't have to download and open them. But if you want to, you can just click through and kind of get a visual sense of what the attachment is like without having to download and open. If you want to set up a meeting with someone, we make it trivial for you to propose a couple of times, and the recipient just taps on one of these times, and the meeting is automatically set up. I could go on and show you a ton of examples of these, but just to kind of wrap up, of course, we also do surveys that work directly in email. And with that, Brad can, is going to show you what the Meteor app looks like. Sure. So let me show you what the Compose experience looks like and what, why we chose Meteor and what makes us a bit of a unique Meteor app. Um, so first of all, Mixmax is built inside of Gmail. So it's pretty interesting. So it's a Chrome extension that takes over the Gmail Compose window and actually renders, this is an iframe here that's made to look like the Gmail Compose window that's actually a Meteor app. And to demonstrate it's Meteor, we can you know, change the theme color here and it automatically communicates. Mixmax is definitely unique because we have all these different iframes working within Gmail. It's really built inside out, right? It's built inside another product. Um, we also use Meteor and uh, Live Syncing for all our email apps. So a few of the apps that Olaf showed you are, are here. Uh, we can insert what we call availability. You can propose meeting times with other people. Um, click OK, and we automatically sync that to the email content directly. Uh, overall, Meteor has been a great choice for us. Um, we've definitely had uh, a few challenges that were unique to us. One is that you can have multiple Gmail tabs open to different accounts. So how do we handle that? So I had this kind of creative hack uh, where I pass through what Gmail uses to indicate that it's a different account. And I have it highlighted up here in the URL bar. It's just a number, an index. Uh, so I have to pass that through all the way down into accounts to look for a different uh, login token inside local storage. So that was certainly unique. Uh, we also have this really, really rich content editable wrapper, our own editor that we built. And we're working to integrate it into Blaze and use Blaze uh, sub templates that we render, you know, that handle all the interactivity within there. Um, but uh, just a couple challenges. Overall, Meteor has been really great. And um, we invite you to try out the product uh, and hammer on it a bit. So we prepared this special URL just for you all if you want to check it out. And we're also hiring. If, if you like to hack Meteor as much as we do, we uh, should talk. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Great. Do we have questions? Uh, so Rahul has a question. So yeah, stay up there for one more minute. Wow. Can you please get a quiz by Google? Okay. Yeah. Well, yes. I thanks. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, do I have to? Do we have to repeat the audience question? Oh, okay. Sorry. Can, can you please get a card by Google? Uh, yeah, it would be great if you would if you would use us instead of Gmail. So. Yep. Yeah. So please. Yeah. Any other questions? One in the back. How, uh, how difficult was it to wrap it? Uh, not very hard at all. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. So uh, the question was, how difficult was it to wrap it in a Chrome extension? The Chrome extension is really just rendering a bunch of iframes on the page. And we try to use DDP as much as we can to facilitate the communication between the iframes. There were a few places, like we have uh, email tracking that renders a little subtle icon in the sent view that I had to render an off-screen iframe and listen for post message events to come back to draw that little icon. Of course, I'm working on uh, a DDB client directly in the extension. But I'm also competing with Gmail for global namespace. So like anything goes inside that namespace. It's a little bit tricky. How yep. are you doing with like, uh, inbox compatibility? you know, on different devices and that can actually see everything that you do? Uh, very, very good question. So how do we deal with uh, differences between email clients? Um, because there's a broad spectrum all the way from what Olaf showed you. The Apple Mail client has full CSS3 support. That's how we achieve the slide tray animation, all the way down to Outlook, which, you know, is the word rendering engine, right? So it's barely HTML. But uh, we 
have a um, templating engine that will generate the superset of all HTML. And we do our best to do creative feature checks, really, using only CSS uh, to render the highest capability of the email client. So uh, definitely check it out and um, send it you know, to your Outlook email address, and you'll see how we render it. And we, we do a pretty good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.